Hello Libra and welcome to Soul Sundays. This is a reading for the 10th of February. Three card spread for mind, body and soul. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. Please show me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for the week ahead. Can I have three cards please? One for mind, body and soul. Starting with the mind, what's the most important message for Libra? I'm putting this back because they didn't pop, that one did. Queen of Stars, Illumination. I actually think this may be... Um, uh, Queen of Swords is in your sign. I can't remember if stars are wands or if they're swords. Uh, one card for body, please. Um, I know that we talked about laughter in the last soul read. Like it's really important for you to do stuff for your soul like that. Um, anything that kind of lights you up, right? That brings you joy, comedy, that kind of thing. Yeah. If you've got a health issue, it's coming up to tell you to do some more research. So um, something that's kind of been nagging you for a little while. And I think maybe generic medicine isn't helping you or maybe you need to look into it a little bit more deeply. Um, nature is definitely helpful. Get out into a rainforest. Can I have additional guidance for their soul for the week ahead, please? One card. Just one card. Gosh, they're taking forever to pick this card for you. <laughs> Eddie, I just need one card. That's like seven. Just one card, please. Thank you so much. That's the most important soul message for them. Speak your truth, okay, this week. Really speak your emotions because you have stuff to say. My throat feels very tight. I don't know if I got this for you last time. I got it for someone else, but you really need to speak up about how you're feeling. Talk to your partner, talk to your ex, talk to your kids, whoever it is, finally. That's so weird. So when I was shuffling, um, I kept seeing this card, right? There was two that came out. I'm just picking one. Um, and I kept thinking birds because I saw the birds that are on this card. And I saw this and I thought, I wonder if that's their card. And then it came out. It's pretty cool. I should just trust, trust my intuition more and pick it. All right. Okay. Queen of Stars. Stars Illuminator. I'm really hoping this is your card. No, it's not. It is one. So um, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But um, Queen of Wands in traditional tarot speaks about a woman that's, you know, very charismatic. She goes after what she wants. Um, nothing stands in her way yeah she will get what she needs um but in this deck it's quite different it speaks about um someone who's understanding an understanding person in libra my gosh that couldn't be any more than you all of the beautiful friends that i have in my life of your sign are very sympathetic and understanding are very friendly they're, they're lovers they're very practical they'll do anything for the people that they love right and this speaks about your mindset in terms of what you're giving and what you're drawing back to you now, Illuminator, your inner creator shines outward, leading you from darkness. You will feel her joy through your senses, thoughts, actions, and all that is reflected to you. A beautiful goddess contemplates her ability to create a life of joy, regardless of whether she faces golden positives or shadowy negatives. She unifies her heart and her mind with the light of optimism to guide her actions with love and intuitive wisdom. The Queen of Stars awakens you to your beauty and your strength. You have compro composed yourself because you didn't know that you have compromised yourself. My goodness, sorry. You have compromised yourself because you didn't know that you could be loved for being you. This practice belief now makes you doubt your abilities and potential. However, somewhere deep inside, the need to be true to you is gaining momentum and it's about bringing an inspiring, supportive person or an idea into your life. It may arrive as a boss, a workmate, friend, lover, or a new way of perceiving your life. Open your heart to the inspiring creator that you are. Now, I wish I didn't stumble on that word because it was quite a potent message and I just want to read it to you one more time. 
The Queen of Stars awakened you to your beauty and strength. You have compromised yourself because you didn't know that you could be loved for being you. You know, it's such a um, cliche message, you know, it's like love yourself, self-love, all that rah-rah crap. But I think it's so true. It's how do we expect anyone else to love us if we don't love ourselves? And you know that feeling when you just feel like everything's aligned and you're at the top of the mountain and you're just going for gold and you're successful in, you know, whatever your passion is, whatever your physicality is, whatever it is that you love to do. And then everything else kind of aligns, like work aligns, friends aligns, whatever it is. That comes from within. Okay, that's what this is, that star, that that passion comes from within and we can't expect anyone else to kind of give us that same vibration, that same kind of level of love until we're in it for ourselves. So for you this week, the mindset is all about knowing that your worthiness and what you are worth, knowing that you are loved and having that beauty, that illumination come from within. Okay it's a big one it's, it's quite it's got a lot of depth i know and for the man watching don't get caught up in the fact that it's a queen of stars if you've followed me for long enough you'll know the energy is interchangeable it's more about speaking of the meaning of the card okay and your energy and where it's at and you know i've met plenty of men some really great successful men even that i was away with last week um, on business trips that were saying that they didn't they didn't even like themselves so they love themselves you know so the message applies to both sexes Physicality, do more research. Healthcare is a partnership between a patient, healer, and God. This card serves as a reminder that it's important to fulfill your role. Don't remain passive. Instead, listen to the divine whispers within your thoughts and feelings, which are the voices of God and Archangel Raphael guiding your steps in the healing process. Trust your feelings and know that you have rights and options. So this is really important. If you have been going to see a GP about something and you're not getting anywhere and they're not helping you, go get a second, a third or a fourth opinion, okay? Uh, read up the latest studies about your condition. Um, some of you may know this already. I suffer from endometriosis. It's incurable. It's a really shitty disease. One in 10 women have it. Um, more common than people think. Um, I have the severe end of it, so um, it's it's a constant battle for me, but it can um, affect fertility. So I did a lot of research around this because I was told the only way to cure it is through hormones and surgery, right? I researched and researched and researched and found that diet was a big one for me and I've made so many changes in terms of my diet. Every time that I go off that path and I, um, you know, party too much as in drinking too much or have inflammatory kind of foods like cheese and anything like that that inflames my body then the pain comes back I'm now four years like without having a surgery when I was told that every year I needed to have surgery to kind of you know fix this this disease this thing for you whatever your situation is don't be afraid to go research I found an incredible woman in the UK that was um you know, still leading the pack for this kind of thing. And for you, you can do the same. Whatever it is, Crohn's disease, IBS, uh, whatever your symptom is, do your research, okay? Speak up and tell. If you're not happy with your GP, go and get another one. Um, alternative treatments, you know, can be amazing. And I feel like it would be amazing if doctors were a bit more open to that rather than just traditional medicine and prescribing drugs because that's not the solution, not always. Sometimes it's unavoidable and we need that. And, you know, I'm not anti that at all, but I just feel like when we rely upon that so heavily, um, then it's what causes an imbalance, all right? Moderation, this is your soul message for the week. Look at how beautiful that card is. Okay, let me read it to you. Um, a coping mechanism, a helper or an attitude that has served you reaches its limit. The impulse to pull back from a situation or a relationship. A stray word or action offers a taste of things to come. Letting go of moderation reveals more than expected. Resist or be resistant to adding insult to injury. When you remove emotions, what's left? Love is the only thing you entered this world with and it's the only thing you'll take with you when you leave. It is your true essence. Everything else is transient, like clouds passing by here for a moment and then gone. Look within and you will see that love is not a distant shore but an ocean of light inside you. An ocean of light inside you. There you go, my beautifuls. That was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know, and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.